Hello my spooky bags, it's me Cupcake. And if you want to know how I did this, very cute, very simple, very easy, Jack Lantern inspired makeup look. Just keep on watching. Also, don't forget, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a review on the Dollar Tree Lash Glue, Ioni. The Dollar Tree Ioni Lash Glue 2-in-1 Black Liner Lash Glue. Is it good? Is it worth $1.25? Is it not worth $1.25? Again, continue to watch and you'll see. Okay, as you can see, I did one eye off camera. Let's get started with the second one and then we're going to do lashes on, some highlighter. Okay, so what you're going to need is whatever kind of palette you're using, as long as it has orange, green, and black, as you can already see. I'm using the Morphe Disney's palette. This is in Mickey and friends truth be told palette that has an orangey color you're going to need one that has black and you need green my orange i did use if you are going to use this palette i use so fearless and then over that i went with on the dot i use these two orangey colors again i know my palette it's seen better days Here, just like a regular basic eyeshadow brush okay so you're going to prime your eye i own a Fat Chubby Stick French Lily White. I do not like this. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I think I, yeah, I hold this in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. I don't care for this. You're going to want to do like the inner tear duct. And then you're going to want to all over the eyelid. Again, it doesn't really take too, too much. You're just going to kind of spread it out with your finger. Use white eyeliner as eye primer because it really helps like the color I show makes it boom. It makes it, it's just good. Okay, so we're going to take our unicorn mirror. It lights up. Orange, you're going to put starting here and you're going to end it about here. You're going to kind of just do like a windshield wiper motion back and forth to kind of blend this color in. I was planning on filming this in my bedroom. T-Rex is sleeping, and Aaron is in school today, so I'm going to take, and I actually feel like filming. I'm taking advantage of this, the orangey color, and now we're going to go over with On The Dot. This is like kind of mustardy yellow orange. It's a very fog. We're going to go with the orange. I don't know where my like smaller condensed brush is, but we're just going to use this. I I think this is a concealer brush. This just like legit tells you how much I know about like makeup brushes. Mainly, I just wear like eyeshadow. My go-to look if I'm actually wanting to look presentable, especially if I'm going to the parks and I know I'm filming, highlighter and lashes. I'm kind of just mixing both colors. So you're going to do Max Power and Wild One. This is the Max Power, it's really like vibrant light green and this one's a shade darker and wild one and you're going to do the inner tear so what's been up with y'all any plans for the spooky season that we're going into uh halloween horror nights is mainly it i think we didn't go last sunday thank you jesus it's an actual thank you jesus because i hate halloween horror nights oh my goodness i hate halloween horror nights i cannot hit in words how much I hate Halloween Horror Nights. It is the worst experience. Yeah, no, I can't stand it. And everybody's like, you, you sure? It's you. Everything about Halloween Horror Nights, I legit hate. I'm gonna touch up the orange. We're gonna put some cap chapstick on because I'm so recent, I'm so dehydrated lately. Expect anything else from me? like gore i don't like scare i don't like fright i don't like being outside at night the, i don't like loud noises i love loud music don't get me wrong i love listening to loud music and stuff but loud like noises like yelling hate 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 anything about it it's gory don't like blood and gore and guts like ew there's constant loud noises and certain i feel like watch my vlog and everything that i've been posting you see it, you have scare actors that will like literally just kind of walk past you, turn their head, yell directly into you. I absolutely hate that. Like, I just want to turn around, just like, we're gonna, you're gonna catch these hands. Like, I'm not, like, no. <laughs> Toddlers are more scarier than me, but I just, I don't care for it. Well, I know what you're thinking. Cupcake, why are you going? Because my man hates me. T Rex absolutely loves it, and I absolutely hate it. 
my little Halloween ears he gave me. Aren't they cute? These are from last year's collection. It's legit, like, nightmare fuel is what I call it. It's what my nightmares are like. It's like, it's walking into it. It's like walking into your nightmares. I'm so scared. I'm shaking. I'm terrified. I run across one section. You have to go across to get to this like one area. I run. I wait till like the characters are like far apart and busy and I pull. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even joking with y'all. I hate it that much. I love Halloween spooky season. <laughs> it is my favorite holiday. At least it's one of them. And I cannot be looking more forward to Christmas. Not because of like presents and not because we're like we're gonna go you know do something really fun this year for christmas no i'm just ready for halloween to pass i'm not even joking so you're gonna take it and you're gonna do like an outwards like c inward v it's kind of hard to explain but you're going to do from here to here i'm gonna suggest to take like some toilet paper or kleenex whatever you have i'm just using napkins and put it on the outer part of your eye also, if you want to kind of like a sharp line, you could angle it like that. So we're going to do that. And because this will collect all the black or any kind of dark eyeshadow you're using. Sci-fi. My son loves stuff like this. Things I hate, Aaron absolutely loves. He loves spicy food. He loves scary stuff, scary movie, Halloween Horror Nights, Thrill Rides, all of that. I hate spicy food. Thrill rides I can handle to an certain extent. I can handle them if I constantly ride them. Because, I again, I don't have much of a choice. Them two will make me ride them. And then Halloween Horror Nights, I'm just, no. I made the mistake. We went through The Last of Us house. And I decided at the end, I'm going to open my eyes. Because, yes, I'm that much of a... You can fill in the blanks. To, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. I don't have my eyes doing this. I do not care. Actually, it looks so much better, like kind of messy like that. So we're just gonna blend this out. But I opened my eyes at one part. There was three scare actors. So there's one here, section like this, and then one here, and then one right there. Three of them. If I could like physically jump on Tyler to carry me out, I would. Then he tells me, okay, we're out. If you're going to Halloween Horror Nights, do not trust the exit. Do not. No, no, no. If you're scared, do not. Because sometimes they have a scare actor there, and sometimes they don't. They had a scare actor. If you have played the game or watched the show The Last of Us, you know the clickers. Why did I do that? Okay. You know the clickers. Whoever did this guy's makeup, yeah, you deserve a nice handshake. It was good. He came out. And Aaron told him, called my parents and told them, I was like, Mario, I'm not even kidding. Both feet were in the air and I was trying my hardest to like run through the air. Just yelling top of my lungs. I, I couldn't get out that house fast enough. The people behind us were complete jerks and they're laughing. Like I get it, like it's funny, but I was so mad. Oh, I was mad. I was ready to leave right then and there. I, just, I don't like scary stuff. Everybody that's ever dated me, that's even been on a single date with me knows. I don't do scary stuff. I don't do gore. Loud noises I really don't a fan of. Just specific things. If you're trying to tell me you absolutely can't stand me, you, you hate my guts, those are the things you're going to bring me to. And I'm just going to get the hint like, okay, delete you. And you want to see me have a panic attack? Bring me there. I hate everything about it. I absolutely hate everything about it. There, the, my enjoyment is leaving. So this is my makeup look. Now we're going to throw a hi some highlight on. I'll use this one, my mom got me this. I wish I could say part of my Christmas present. What do you think, silver? We're gonna do like a silver highlight. I love me silver moment. Okay, that is my highlight. This side looks better. It's always the left side for some reason. So we're going to be doing a test on the Dollar Tree Lash Glue. This is Everlasting Lash Glue Clear. This is vegan. This was in my COVID haul. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I have tried both of these products, kind of. And so far, I don't like them. But we're going to do an ad. We're actually going to do a good review on these. So first, we're going to apply our mascara. I'm just using a L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I'm 
my mascara. It's latex free, allergy free, and like I said, this is vegan. You know, it's at the Dollar Tree. They always have like different packagings and stuff. Right now they're doing this like cute pink one. First problem is brand new tube, used once. Why is it so hard to get out? I put mine, the glue to my eyelid. Cause I just realized it is so much easier for me to do this. So just, I have to like see if I have to dip my brush in and then the brush like does this. Let me take the lashes and I go ahead and hit our lashes on so far it's good actually would i purchase this again no everlasting two-in-one lash glue in black now this is i don't know you're supposed to shake it or not i did have the packaging and tied it right away so i'm going to give it a quick shake this is the liner and this is supposed to help glue your lashes down so it's supposed to be like a two-in-one a liquid lighter and a lash glue and my little lashes so we're going to attempt to put this on i think you're supposed to do it while the glue is wet watch them both work fine and then i want to take my makeup off i'll do kind of a close-up on my lashes and see how well one glue like sucks to the other but i'm surprised that the liner worked because again at first this did not work but it could be a million to things i was not feeling so good when i was putting this on i was also going to Halloween horror nights again it's a huge like stress level thing for me so i will give you an actual review on this one. it's me cupcake this has been let's see i think i put my lashes on at like one it's been about 12 to 13 hours i've been wearing these lashes and this makeup look i'm exhausted i am so tired I've been up since 5 a.m. It is 1 a.m. I promise I'm going to do this. This side was the two-in-one liner. And then this side was the lash glow. So I'm going to try to get y'all close up. So Now, I was messing these a minute ago. And I can feel the sides lifting up from this side. And I think, yeah, from the, the inner corners too. This is a dual liner. Now, this is wild. This side is coming up, but this side is not. Blows my mind because this is the Dollar Tree lash. And in this one, it's kind of glue. Say hi to McFly. Okay, please give me a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below. Love you all, and I'll see you in my next video.